On today's video, we're going to go over three new fishing gear type products that I used this past summer that really improved my fishing experience. And I'm also going to share with you guys this fishing story about this little kid in the picture that's holding that muskie and explain to you why he's also holding a croquet mallet. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about some fishing gear and we're also going to go through this story about the kid, the muskie, and the croquet mallet. Okay guys, well the first type of fishing gear that improved my fishing experience this past summer was upgrading my trolling motor batteries to lithium. Guys, if you haven't looked into lithium trolling motor batteries lately, I highly suggest that you do that. Most of you guys know that lithium batteries can be cycled more times, charged faster, and last longer than the equivalent lead acid batteries. I went with these Power Queen trolling motor batteries, and these Power Queen batteries are about one third the weight of the lead acid batteries that I replaced. But here's the part that really surprised me when I got to looking into it. These Power Queen batteries weren't nearly as expensive as I thought they were going to be. In fact, they're really not that much more than the equivalent lead acid battery. So once I got all the facts, I realized that I will actually be saving money down the road by purchasing these Power Queen trolling motor batteries. I mean, I control with my electric motor so long now that some of the kids are actually falling asleep in the boat. And just so you know, I'll be leaving links to all the products that I'm going to be talking about down in the description of this video. Okay, another product that I started using this summer are these PC Fun rods and reels. Everything about PC Fun reels is top notch and they are very reasonably priced. This Carbon X2 reel is super lightweight. It has 10 sealed stainless steel bearings. The drag is really smooth and the instant anti reverse is totally instant. I was also using this PC Fun Viper X reel this summer. It's a little more heavy duty than the Carbon X, but it also performed great. And then I really took it to the next level. I took a Carbon X2 reel, which is one of the lightest reels that you'll ever use, and I paired it up with this PC Fun Carbon R1 rod, which is one of the lightest rods you'll ever use. And these two together are just ridiculously lightweight. The rod is made from an IM8 carbon blank along with these Fuji guides and Elkanite rings. It casts a mile. It is so lightweight and it performs flawlessly. And you guys know this. When you're out burning crankbaits all day long, if you can shave even a couple ounces off the weight of your rod reel combination, it makes all the difference in the world when it comes to wrist fatigue, this PC Fun rod reel combination is by far the best one I've ever fished with. Okay, so back to the little kid in the picture with the musky and the croquet mallet. Okay, so the little kid in the picture is actually my dad. And for any of you that follow the channel, You've probably seen my dad out fishing with me in several different videos. So my dad grew up on the shores of the Wisconsin River in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. And my grandparents had a rental apartment attached to their house where my dad grew up. And one day the guy that was renting that apartment was looking for somebody to go out fishing with him. So that day my dad and apartment rental Bob went up the river fishing. 
So at some point during this fishing trip, Bob hooks into a pretty nice muskie. Now, keep in mind, this was back in a time when catch and release of muskies was completely unheard of. In fact, my dad would tell me, back when he was young, a lot of the muskie fishermen that he would see up the river would actually carry pistols on their side, and then if they hooked into one and they were fighting it and they got it up to the boat, instead of netting it, they would actually shoot the muskie. Well, that day up the river, my dad and Bob did not have a pistol with them, and they did not have a big enough landing net, but they did have, you guessed it, a croquet mallet with them, just for that purpose. So when Bob was fighting that fish up next to the boat, he would have my dad try to hit it in the head with that croquet mallet. Well, my dad said the first few attempts didn't go that well, and he only got in like a few glancing blows on that muskie, and it really didn't seem to have any effect on it. What a shocker, that didn't go according to plan, right? Uh, I mean, you had a 10-year-old with a croquet mallet, trying to thump a live 40-inch muskie in the head as it's swimming around the boat, right? What could go wrong? Yeah, and my dad said that Bob was getting a little nervous and antsy about some of these failed attempts with the croquet mallet. So Bob was strongly encouraging my dad to kind of concentrate and, you know, make sure and get a good hit on this fish. Well, finally, Bob was able to fight that fish up to the boat into the landing position again, and my dad was able to get a good hit on it, and they were able to catch the fish. So if we were playing that old board game, Clue, the answer would be Don Knetter on the Wisconsin River with the croquet mallet. Well, when my dad showed me that picture and told me the story behind it, I just thought it was hilarious, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Okay, the third piece of fishing equipment that I wanted to go over is this little underwater camera. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I do not know how to pronounce the name of the company that makes this, so I'm just going to call it the fish camera, okay? Um, I'll show you the name on the screen, you know, you tell me how to pronounce it, but for this video, I am just calling it the fish camera. Okay. Well, this fish camera has a 7-inch monitor, it's color, it has three different viewing modes for low light and dark conditions, and you can record with this camera, which is very cool. And the battery in this fish camera allows you to run it for up to 20 hours. This underwater fish camera is really easy to use, and if you've never used an underwater camera before, it really is pretty cool to see all the stuff that's going on below the surface. This camera is very inexpensive and it's a lot of fun. And you know, I'm really looking forward to using this camera during the ice fishing season and it would make an excellent Christmas present for an ice fisherman that you know or maybe even yourself. And I'll tell you another thing, kids love watching these underwater cameras. Even on days where things are a little boring, you know, maybe the fish aren't biting that well, the kids, including myself, really do enjoy dropping the underwater camera down and checking out what's going on. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that musky story. I know I thought it was pretty funny. And, you know, if you're interested in any of these products that I talked about in this video, go ahead and check out those links down below. Eat shark. Very good. So guys, if you're interested in more videos about getting out and enjoying the great outdoors of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, be sure to check out the entire channel. And if you enjoy what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. And for bonus content, be sure to check out our Patreon page a link to this page can be found in the description of this video.
And also, guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. Thanks for watching, and God bless.